My name is Nick Kerr. I'm 20 years old. I got kicked out of high school in my senior year. Uh, last time I was in high school was roughly around November of my senior year. It all started whenever I missed so many days that I had to go talk to the principal. They were threatening to kick me out because I didn't have an excuse for all my absences. So I didn't bring them in and then they finally, the school board got a meeting and said that I was officially kicked out. My relationship with my mom when I got kicked out um, didn't really change. She said it was your fault. So she's, she's helping me, but she still thinks I'm an idiot for doing that. <clears throat> Other than working when I was out of school, I, uh, I usually just hung out with friends. I did play Xbox a good bit. Started working at Cinemark for a little bit, and I got fired from there. I didn't really talk to anybody other than a few people that lived around me. And the internet kind of helped me instead of Xbox. That was the only way I kept in contact with people. The job search was horrible. Uh, I didn't put out too many applications because there's not many people hiring. But the places I did put out, I did get a call. I really didn't like my interview. So it took a while. My job on my birthday. How I got it, I don't know. I just kind of got lucky, I guess. They called me for an interview. I went in there, talked to two people, and before I left, they said they'd like to hire me. i say once I got my job at Target, it started turning around because I was finally getting an income. I was able to go out with the friends that I kept in contact with. I got a new girlfriend. It's amazing. So, getting my GED, too. I'm more motivated because, well, to be honest, my girlfriend doesn't know that I got kicked out, so I want to get everything done and I want to start college in the fall. Uh, my relationship with my family, my brother, it's not that good. No. No. But with my mom, considering that my parents are now divorced, I'm more with my mom because I don't see my dad that much because he kind of excludes me and sees my brother more. I got, I got some advice. Don't do anything stupid. If you miss school, take an excuse in because they're cracking down. It's not worth missing school and then being out and have to worry about your GED. It's a lot more difficult than just getting up at 7 o'clock. Since the last time we talked, a lot has changed. Uh, I currently am not employed at Target. I'm looking for another job. I have no specific place to look for. It's just, I'm throwing out applications that I see that are hiring. And I've been recruited for MLG, which is Major League Gaming for the Xbox 360. If I do compete, I can go to certain major states and cities and play for lots of cash. If I come in first place, it's $10,000 grand prize. And just second, third, fourth, you get 6000 And it just goes down from there. Pretty excited for that. It's just kind of something fun to do. I'm only 20 years old. Just trying to look to have fun right now, go to college. And once I hit, when I have like kids and a wife and everything, that'll just kind of drop. With school, yeah, a lot, a lot has changed with that actually. Uh, I do plan on going to get my GED within just say like this month. I plan on going next week to go fill out the applications and do all the work necessary. Um, I have looked at different colleges that I want to go to instead of Northwestern Tech School. I might be uh, considering going to Rosedale Tech for auto mechanics because I just think it's a little bit closer and it's a lot better school. If I could go back, I probably would just so I can talk to the teachers more and see if I can stay. I didn't really pursue. Once they said I was kicked out, I kind of just gave up hope. 